Hello and welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to show you how to enable things like VRR support, um, how to change your resolution, how to how to enable your how to enable your Xbox to take full advantage of different types of screen technologies. So we're gonna go ahead and go into settings, and then you're gonna go into general, which is gonna be over here on TV and display options. First of all, when you first get into this menu, you're going to go right here to 4K TV details, and that'll tell you everything that you can use, basically, um, and, and if your thing is turned off. So right now, video modes, in order to get 4K, you're going to have to check this one. You'll, you'll go ahead and select the allow 4K box, and then you'll turn on your, your um, allow HDR 10, auto HDR, um, Dolby Vision, if your TV supports it, and then Dolby Vision for gaming down there on the bottom. Um, and then allow VRR, which is variable refresh rate. You're going to enable that. You can do the allow 50 and 24 hertz modes as well. Um, and then you're going to come over here and your resolution, you can choose between, well, I'm this is hooked to my capture card, so I can't use the 4K right now. Well, I can, but I can't use the 120 FPS or the, uh, yeah, I can't use the 120 FPS. So we're basically looking at all this in 1080p. So again, let's go over that 1080p resolution, 120 FPS re uh, refresh rate. Now, some TVs are going to have HDMI 2.0, which will allow you to still use like 1080p at 120 FPS. And some TVs might even allow you to go as high as 1440p and leave that 120 FPS, um, that 120 FPS enabled as well. Now you can use that, uh, for games. You don't need to, if they, if they do support like, um, like a 40 FPS mode, you only need the 120 FPS. That's all you need. You you just need the, you know, your screen resolution and your and your 120 FPS. You do not need the VRR to take advantage of that. You only need the VRR if your game goes if they unlock the frame rate above that 40 frames per second. Now the cool thing about Xbox with their variable refresh rate, the VRR, is this here goes all the way down to 40 frames a second. But if your game is lower than that, it'll enable what's called low frame rate compensation. Low frame rate compensation essentially will make a 30 FPS game feel a little bit smoother. It's actually pretty cool. Like it does work. Uh, you can still tell that it's 30 frames per second, but it just it the screen doesn't flicker as much, so it feels a lot better. Um and then, and then there's, you know, like the rest of these settings in here, you know, like allow HDR 10 and the HDR, the Dolby vision, if you have it, and then the Dolby vision for gaming, those are pretty freaking cool. The, the Dolby vision that you're not going to have a whole lot of settings in the games because Dolby vision, if you have your, if your TV supports Dolby vision, everything is just kind of automatic for that. The only thing you'll be able to really do is turn up or turn down the um the brightness of the hdr output so now that we've seen all of that we're gonna go in here and we're gonna look and see if oh i don't have anything i don't have anything on there do i have is this the okay yeah so i have all my games on there so basically yeah that's the video i just wanted to show you guys give you a quick quick idea of how to go ahead and do that um the uh, the low frame rate compensation that I was showing you will work with these older games. These older games that you have, um, setting these into 1080p mode, setting these into 1080p mode, or is going to uh, allow your TV to do all of your upscaling. So let me go back and show you that. If you set your Xbox at 1080p resolution and your refresh rate, depending on your TV, if you have 120 FPS or not, um, set your TV to 1080p resolution, and um, that will allow your Xbox, your TV, to actually upscale these older games, which will look really good. And I'll show you one real quick. I believe Far Cry takes advantage of FPS boost. So Far Cry 4 is going to give you that 60 frames per second. Now it is going to take a little bit, you know, you're still going to have to go through all the loading time, but I want to show you that this here 
actually will increase your image. Um, right now, I'm actually on my 1440p monitor, but I was looking at uh, I was looking at Far Cry 5 the other day, doing a doing a video on that one, and man, that one came out really, really, really nice. That looks really good being upscaled. Uh, most of your 4K TVs are going to have a pretty decent upscaler, so you will be able to. Uh, you will be able to to take advantage of that with the uh, with 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 some with with all of these um, 4K TVs. Like your TV, if you set it into 1080p, it will 100% upscale the image. Uh, your TV will use its built-in upscaler to uh, to go ahead and 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 upscale that for you. And it's it's actually fairly nice most of the time. Um, I've noticed like some really cool things. Like if your game uses checkerboard rendering or your or any kind of like the the temporal upscaling that that will leave like vegetation looking fuzzy, hair looking fuzzy, any of those things, it it actually cleans that up. It gets rid of that fuzz, believe it or not. And I was noticing that yesterday with the video that I made for Resident Evil Village. Uh, you, that game does use checkerboard rendering, and you can usually tell. Uh, when you're looking in the hair, and um, and it cleaned it up pretty freaking nice. Even on the Series S, I was running the Series S and doing that and doing that test. So I was like, oh man, this is actually pretty freaking good. Now all TVs are going to vary, and depending on the TV or the the model that you have, is going to decide how that how that looks. Now this looks freaking incredible. This looks very very nice. Even out there in the vegetation, like my gosh, man, and it, and it's running at sixty frames a second, and with that one hundred and twenty FPS and the VRR enabled on here, that makes it even that makes it even better. I, I I'm very excited with this technology for for using VRR and being able to upscale and all of that stuff. It really does work. Like this this vegetation doesn't look fuzzy, doesn't look blurry, none of that. It all looks really really nice, really really sharp. And very very clean like yeah like this is this is very nice looking to be able to go back and play some of these older games at 60 frames a second I don't I don't know if a lot of people understand you know just how just how uh just how much like 60 FPS affects that affects that uh that image quality and that gameplay this here is like one of the coolest maps in in a, in a Far Cry game. I really liked Far Cry 4. Had a good time with this. Never did beat it, but I did have a really good time playing around with this game and um, seeing seeing everything in, in through here. So, all right, man. There's the video. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like and don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.